It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, we'll see Stephon Diggs. He had a busy week last week, finishing with over 170 yards. It's the Bills and the Patriots, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week, So the Patriots coming out now. And they are right at the 500 mark on the year and got there with a victory a week ago. And I think right now I put myself in the shoes of the head coach and say, all right, time to reset a little bit. And I don't give my team a win one for the Gipper speech. But I do say, look, we haven't played our best football yet. But we are at 500 and we're still in it. Let's try and string a few of these victories together. And we're capable of doing so. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Short pass caught by Henry. The numbers for Hunter Henry from a week ago. Four catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown. And I get the feeling that he loves this matchup. I mean, the unit he's going against is in the bottom half of the league against the pass. He had to have circled this one on the schedule and said to himself, this should be a big game. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. When you look at this Buffalo defense, and they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Von Miller, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. And he is caught. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. To throw again is Jackson. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 25 yards that time. This is going to be a corner route to their tight end, and I'll tell you what, it's man coverage, so that makes it hard for a linebacker to stay with it. And he's able to make the catch on the right side of the field and pick up the first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Jackson checking this down to Stevenson. So nothing doing there. And now one yard to go on third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. It's their quarterback. A three-yard run as he kept 
Hampton himself. And the Patriots are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. He capped off that last drive himself, had the touchdown run. Now he'll take over here again, first and 10. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Kendrick Bourne. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the... Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. Here's Jackson to throw. To the right side, he's got Parker. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, that's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Miles Jack with a sack. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you get a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or Very lights cool. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense. New England trotting into place on offense. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something? their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's thrown for two touchdowns and run for another already in this first half as his guys begin first and ten. Hey. 
Jackson now. Going top shelf for Smith Schuster. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots it. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven, we'll be the second. So here are the Patriots to take over. They were winners last week, defeating the Raiders, and right now they're in the driver's seat here as they start off first and ten. Jackson and that's gonna be incomplete looks like they went for the combo play there a nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play going for the big shot on that one unsuccessfully Jackson now on second and ten and he will slide to a stop he does have the first down 12 yards there as they move the chains so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Jackson. That is caught by Smith Schuster. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith Schuster with touchdown number seven on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. New England's offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Jackson on first down. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 33 yards that time. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Now Jackson. That one completes to Parker. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. On second down, Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Again, Jackson. A hit as 
he throws there incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. On second down, here's Jackson. Incomplete. So many offenses walking through their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Jackson looking to throw on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now Jackson on first down. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. To throw is Jackson. And this one incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Try to get a place on offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Now it's Jackson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Jackson. Complete. It's Henry. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Jackson. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete and sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit Charles yeah this defense is going to get off the field quickly and their offense got him a touchdown last time they had the ball so they should get another shot Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. 
We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Let's go. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Kendrick Bourne, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Pats answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And what a throw that was, Charles. You think about the situation, close game, fourth quarter, rookie quarterback, he doesn't seem phase one bit. So much for Bright Lights, Big City, and will he wilt? Not at all. The stage... So the Patriots now down by a field goal, 65 seconds remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> now Jackson. And incomplete on the deep ball. play. Here's second and ten. Throwing. Jackson. Jackson hit and he lost the football. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And now he's got him in a great spot at the eight-yard line here first and goal. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they... So now all on the Patriots trailing in this one now 46 seconds to go it's an extremely tall order in front of them but they've got the ball with a first down Jackson well he was hit as he threw it there and that one winds up incomplete you get into these two-minute drill situations and you often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out, and they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Jackson. That is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. He's going to let it fly. And this will be caught at the 30. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, Things get a little bit tighter. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big time strike. Big time strike. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring, and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for the Bills, the win moves them up to 5-2 and two now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins.
No victory tacos today, boys. Remember this feeling, fellas.
It's week eight of the National Football League, and we'll be watching the Patriots' electric quarterback. It doesn't get a lot better than his last game, going over 500 yards. It's the Patriots and the Dolphins, just ahead on EA Sports. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hi everyone, Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defense.
So here come the Patriots now on offense. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. And he's certainly putting together an MVP-type season, leading the league in both passing yards and touchdown passes. There have not been too many defenses have been able to stop him or even slow him down. So he's got a sight set on another big game right here. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. But Charles, we've seen some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back on the field in a hurry. Brandon, I'm going to go ahead and age myself, but I'm going to ask you, when you were in high school and there were injuries, did you hear a next man up from your coaches? Well, you hear it every week now in the NFL, that's for sure. You know, back when I played when dinosaurs roamed the earth, you didn't hear next man up. You heard, oh, no, we've got to put in Davis. <laughs> So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Going deep here for Parker. And this one is incomplete. Well, these two teams you might remember met in Foxborough earlier in the season with the Patriots winning that ball game. So they're looking for the season sweep with a win here in Miami. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Jackson will throw again. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful. But don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old malaprop? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this crew, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves. And these guys are being left behind. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Now it's Jackson. Ramondre Stevenson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and ten. Here's Jackson to throw. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. 
Flush to his right. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Jackson now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Jackson on first down. That's complete once again. It's Kosicki. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 28 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Throwing is Jackson. Parker's got it. Touchdown, New England. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? in this offense heading back out to the field. He's thrown touchdown passes on his last two drives as he begins here, first and ten. Here's Jackson. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. On second down, here's Jackson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now Jackson on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because that incompletion's on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Jackson. And he is caught. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw again is Jackson. Going deep to the end zone for Juju. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. You guys have been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete in the tournament time? Yes, he's caught every other ball that's coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. They go play action now. Jackson eluding the pressure right. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Here's second and ten. From the gun, Jackson. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul. Roughing the passer defense. That's not good enough, man. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. So here are the Patriots to take over. They're trying to get back on track following the loss to Buffalo a week ago. But the good news, they've got the lead right now here in the football first and ten. Jackson. He'll let this go deep for Bourne. A wide open, complete. Kendrick Bourne, 75 yards. And the Patriots come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. The Patriots ready to get the football back. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Jackson now on second and ten. 
Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. Concentration so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is. But that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three. Taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Throwing on first down. It's Jackson. That one complete to Parker. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On second down, Jackson. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Offense. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. To throw is Jackson. Throw left side complete. That's Parker. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Jackson on third and long. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked. to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one they'll throw on first down with jackson and that'll be complete to stevenson and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line successful start to the drive 17 yards and moves the sticks one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now it's Jackson. To the right side, he's got Parker. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And Jackson throwing once more. This one to board, and he's got it. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. Jackson on first down. And he gets this to Thornton. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And he is 
going to lose yardage here. No question, he's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They face a critical third and goal now in a one-score game. Jackson now. Flushed out right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. It was a pretty entertaining ball game. Charles had the lead changes going on in the second half, but I think for the losing side, not able to put any points on the board in the fourth quarter, that ultimately was what really stung them. And you know what puzzled them during the game? It's going to puzzle them even more when they go back, watch tape, and try and figure it all out. Did they not make the proper adjustments?
it's week nine of the NFL, and we'll see Marte Mapu, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Pats and the Commanders, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We're all set to go, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go set. And now out come the Patriots. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover as they search for the first points of the ball game. After the interception, here's Jackson. His throw incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, but it'll be second down. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you've got a chance for success when the injury bug hits. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting... They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And they move this all the way down to the nine. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Here's Jackson. This will be caught at about the five. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups. And they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now Jackson on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They've given him some different looks. The early going, he's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. That is over the line and into the end zone for a Patriots score. A great effort there. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Patriots use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking, running back. He had the touchdown run on the previous drive, his fifth on the year, and they start here with a first and ten. Now Jackson on first down. But he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. 
multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Throwing on second and long. Jackson, and he'll let this go deep for Bourne. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's one as a quarterback where you put both hands on your helmet and say, I can't believe I just did that. If he puts a little more touch on that ball, the receiver's still running. Instead, it's just an incomplete pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. Well, it certainly felt like he was going to challenge this defense no matter what, and he stepped up and tried to throw it to the outermost edge of the zone coverage, and they were more than ready for him. The problem now is if they are limited in what they're doing throwing the football, they got to figure out how to move it without being able to throw it to the outside and throw it downfield. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Three and five is where they sit on the year. A very uneven start is certainly not an idea. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Let's go now. Here's Jackson to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The Patriots at three and five, two games under 500. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. On third down, Jackson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. I think this crowd not really sure what to make of things. You know, their, their guys have not looked very good. Their leader here at the top, he hasn't looked that great either. And most of the time you hear guys talk about how they don't let the crowd affect them or they okay, block ready. it off. Well, that's not really fully true because a lot of the times you ride the wave of emotion with a crowd when it's positive for you. In this case, they've got to find a way to shake it off and at least get something done to maybe put the crowd back on their side. Absolutely. Give these guys something to cheer about. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Now Jackson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. 
They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. He's had a great season, plenty of touchdown passes, but that last throw, not one of his finer moments as it was returned for a touchdown on the pick six. Now he starts again here, first and ten. Back to the air, Jackson following the pick six. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. On second down, here's Jackson. And he whips that one incomplete there. This defense has passed his first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Washington on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Jackson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw forced a few here so far in this game and now it brings up fourth down here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession he has not had the game that he envisioned his team has not had the game that they've envisioned here so how do they turn this around now well right now what he's looking forward to doing is finding a way to get the added weight on his back is it like that monkey that steve young was talking about remember that in the super bowl oh, the 95 super bowl right when they beat the chargers and you know he had yep. that weight of expectations and, and pass greats on his back in this case it's just bad play can he shake it off and then be able to play loose and free and help his team out? Let's see if he can do just that. Chase Young able to record his fifth sack of the season. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From midfield now, here's Jackson. It's caught inside the 25. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A game there of 30 big ones. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. And he's got it. And he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bring it up second down and a bit farther. From the gun, Jackson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Third and goal, Jackson. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it,
New England's offense set to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now it's Jackson. This is caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So we pause for an injured player, and now what you want to see, Juju Smith-Schuster. He's in some pain out there. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. It's their quarterback with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner this week. You know why? He's got to let the owner know, I know you wrote the check for his arm, but we're going to make him a part of our running game too. This guy can do it all. Let's see where he takes us. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Chase Young able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. They go play action now. Jackson. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. 27 yards there, a first down. Jackson. Got the connection here to Bull. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Douglas, the man in motion. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now a second and 10. To throw again is Jackson. He finds Douglas complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 12-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this is incomplete. 
Boy, the numbers throwing the football just not trending in the right direction. Last week he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Commanders are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. New England trotting into place on offense. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because there's confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Jackson now on second and ten. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Stevenson. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because... Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score now. Yeah, true. I think we could have. And got his man complete. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Patriots. Kendrick Bourne. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive. But there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there. And there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency. Because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? So now a big spot for the Pats as they'll go for two. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the moment. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson, flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 
And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Jackson now. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just the They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Second and ten. Now it's Jackson. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devontae Parker, 60 yards. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. The receivers have been running them ragged, maybe some tired legs in the secondary, maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to it, and look what resulted. A touchdown, tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. So it's Washington getting the victory here, and they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three.
It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Colts and the Pats, next on Madden Football. Well, the NFL has come to Germany as you get a look inside Deutsche Bank Park here in the bustling city of Frankfurt. Today we hit double digits week 10 and we got a good one in store as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, you and I and the crew had a really great time calling these games in the NFL. New England's offense set to go. We're following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. After the interception, here's Jackson. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since the Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. Touchdown! His third touchdown now on the year. And the Pats take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. To throw is Jackson. And that's complete downfield to Parker. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devontae Parker, 75 yards. And the 
Patriots have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's thrown a couple of touchdown passes already in this first quarter and now looking for more as his guys begin first and ten. Here's Jackson. Now a short one to Gesicki. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Here's Jackson to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. All of a sudden, we've got a new ball game back to level after that interception that he threw on the previous drive led to a touchdown. So we'll see if they can get things right here, first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now Jackson. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Jackson from the shotgun. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Tyquan Thornton, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots have moved out in front. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. Jackson. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, 
They were on guard. Incomplete. He's going to take another shot here. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, Jackson. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Play action. It's Jackson. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now Jackson on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On second down, here's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson going deep here for Parker. And that's going to be incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we send you back across the Atlantic to Orlando, as we say guten tag to our guys standing by, that's Jonathan Coachman. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big time factor in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help get Now the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, 
to get things going here in the third quarter. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On third down, Jackson. And a pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some... He'll try to shake off the cobwebs from the interception he threw on the previous drive that led to the field goal as now they're dealing with a little bit bigger of a deficit. First and ten. On first and ten, it's Jackson escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. Seven yards there and a first down. A little football 101. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Jackson on first down. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Throwing is Jackson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Jackson. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Devontae Parker. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Patriots have got it back to within a... He's the first in the league to reach 30 touchdown passes this year. Did that on the last drive, and he starts here with a first down. Play action. Now Jackson. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now it's Jackson. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that Sack and Sack are on their play sheet. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Into the hands of Smith-Schuster on the crossing pattern. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To throw again is Jackson. On the out route, he's got Fulton. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Here's Jackson to throw. Throwing the out route. He's got Parker. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Now second and three. Here's Jackson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Jackson. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this... And he is in. Touchdown, New England. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Patriots have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They work their way back out onto the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Jackson, he's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have enough. So the Patriots now down by 15, 201 remaining. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. To throw is Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Another try, second and ten now. Jackson. It's incomplete. 
incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And that's into the hands of Gasicki. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Jackson to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Jackson's throw here taken in by Parker. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Just a difficult situation to be in here in the final minute. Down two scores. You know you need some providence from somewhere. They're going to keep firing away till the end, but this one falls incomplete. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they get it rather easily there. A gain of nine on fourth and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The nice thing is that you've still got all your timeouts in the middle of the field. That should still be an option, especially if you see the defenders pinching the sideline. You can run a little seam route right here and pick up some nice yardage. Now Jackson, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Here's Jackson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there, because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Jackson. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there.